Hey y'all, Fun Size here. Welcome to Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So we are back with season two. I am still embroiled in the King of the Hill, and that has taken a whole ton of my time, which is why it's been a while since I last uploaded. But I wanted to get a video knocked out here for y'all to have an update on what's going on. Uh, King of the Hill is coming along okay. Um, we're not going to win, we're pretty sure, because uh, it's gotten pretty pay to win at this point. But we're still giving it a good go, and we're going to see how we do. Anyway, for this episode, we're going to take stock. We're going to get ourselves some more utility tames. We're going to hide them. Um, this PBX server has been golden. It's been amazing. Um, I've been just logging on periodically to make sure that I didn't lose all my stuff. And honestly, we haven't lost a thing. Um, nobody even touches our foundations. Nobody touches our PT. I think because it's only like two hours of the day when my hidden stuff is even available for discovery, I don't really have to worry about um, people having enough time on their hands to investigate, so I'm pretty much loving that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get this bow crafted up, um, just need some materials for that, and because uh, it's a lot better than this one here, and then we're going to use that for some taming along the way. I'd love to get to darts by this episode, but we'll see how we do. Uh, still got all these narcotics that we swiped off those guys at the beginning, and uh, yeah, we're doing great. So let me get my kit together, and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, server's coming up on reset, and we just got the materials we need to craft ourselves one of these bad boys. It's not an astounding bow, but it's far better than the one we already had. There we go. And we also grabbed a whole bunch of excess fiber, which is in here. So we should be set for fiber for a while now. All right, we'll come back after the restart. We're gonna get taming some things. Destroying the foundation again. By the way, if you have a foundation sitting somewhere for a while, what's gonna happen is people will come and clear the stones around it. So when I logged on, all these stones and all this stuff was gone because the foundation prevents stuff from spawning back in. So if you break the foundation, go out a render distance and come back in, all the stones will come back and you'll have to recover again. It's just a handy tip there. All right, so we're gonna test the waters of the server a little bit, see how teams survive when on Wander. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get myself an Anki and maybe a Dodicarus, um, maybe a Frog, I don't know, something something like that. And we're just gonna see how it does. I'm gonna pick a low danger area for that and I'll store them there, see how it goes. We also still need that Argentavis that we were gonna tame in the first episode. Um, I think we might be getting close to having enough Tranks for that soon. Just gotta craft up some more arrows or kill something with arrows on it, so. Let's see what we can find here. Ooh. That would be a useful tame to start stockpiling paste right now. You could leave it in a wander right there. Nobody would notice. A good 11 amber out from that. Or 12. Well, I'm gonna remember this guy. For those wondering, we lost the ape at the very end of the last episode. He wandered into a dire bear and lost that fight. So I think if I'm going to go with the fiber harvester, it's going to be the dire bear. Um, just because honey is so easy to get, I just have to buy a beehive and slap it down. That's something I should probably do this time while we're on. Uh, I do have some flowers over there. So let me just pick up those flowers now while we wait because we really should just get a bear put those things on wander level HP um, they're tanks frankly they're great anyway we're set for fiber for now and um, that scythe is great but I don't want it to depend on the scythe because let's face it I lose gear it just happens so so we'll just plan in advance we'll get a beehive down we'll tame an Argentavis and maybe maybe we'll grab that snail It'd be kind of great if we could do that this episode. If I do get the snail, I've never had one solo before. It's always been in a tribe, and we've always kind of just hopped on to empty it whenever. Um, do any of y'all know, and if you could let me know in the comments, just how long it takes for snail to fill up completely and be ready for harvest for um, getting the CP out? Because I log on throughout the day, and I, I would have no problem, um, not necessarily setting a timer for myself, but I, I would love to know just kind of the exact... Uh, amount of time it takes for the CP to gather. So just let me know in the comments, that would be wonderful. Y'all are my eyes and ears, my info, my source. At least in significant part. I've gotten some awesome tips from y'all. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little mini rant about that ad that just played. Um, Y'all didn't see it, but there was an ad that just played, and I'm really, really against false advertising. I mean, it, it's it, you have a company that that purports to have a game that will pay out money, which I have no doubt that there are people who have been paid out money from that game, but they employ an advertising technique which is 100% lying, and it can't not be. They state a number. They give it a dollar amount, they give it a definitive number saying so and so many people were this or so many dollars every week, um, which are numbers that can't be predicted and numbers that can't be repeatable. They can't say every week this many people are awarded this because it changes every week if they're actually giving out money, which as I said, I have no doubt they're giving out money. But when you do that, when you advertise like that in the way that is patently false and it has to be false, at least to some degree. You're not instilling trust in me. Obviously, they're trying to grab people in with flashy numbers and saying, "Hey, look, you can win this too," uh, which maybe you can. I'm not. I'm not hating on any one game or saying that it's not true. But um, I know certain elements of their ad are false, and so there's certainly a thing in my head that says I'm never going to download that game because I'm I'm starting off already not trusting the company. It's like these ads that you see where you, where it's this big first person war game where you're going in and fighting the enemy and then you realize that that has nothing to do with the actual game and in reality the game is a, an RTS or something along those lines. Um, why are you selling your thing as something that it's not? If you have something you're advertising, hit the facts of what you actually have, advertise those, advertise the heck out of those, and then move on. Because nobody wants to be lied to, frankly. So just a little off-topic mini rant there. So y'all know what I think about those long days when I'm playing ARC 160. Hmm. No. I want 200 minimum, ideally 250. <laughs> 200. Alright. Hmm. That'll come out 300 tamed. That's 150 below max. Ugh. No. If I'm gonna go to the trouble of taming something, I'm gonna put some effort in. Ah, I've got to be level 39. That's right. That's why I didn't do that before. Yeah, maybe we can hit level 39 tonight. We'll see. It's not going to be focusing on leveling, so... Not a huge chance of it, but... We'll see where we go. What are you? 30. No, thank you. 280. That's a little bit high for my taste, but we could bring down the efficiency. 20, 150. All right, let's go for the 280. You are... Chestnut. All right, it's the chestnut one. Hopefully we aggro the chestnut one last, so it'll come a little bit farther than the others. And fire. Gotcha. Really? Shoot. Go, go, go. He's hoping he's low level. You see how I killed him? Because I just kept swinging. Come at me, bro. Ha. Full draw does grant slightly more damage and torpor. Just so you know. It's gonna try to run away. Gotta get it down. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we gotta get down there and kill that Allosaurus before, uh... Shoot. Get away from my Argentavis. Normally in Journeyman Hide, I would not go on foot like this, but the Pteranodon is just not exact enough. Okay. Recoup some arrows, eat an egg. Actually, 
and that served us pretty well. I'm going to hit it a couple more times at the very end of taming to get that efficiency down. But all in all, I'm not disappointed in that. So we are going to need a balm. Let's see. 280. Pop over to our integrated dodo decks. It's going to be a hundred prime meat. I can cut down that down to. I want to see somewhere closer to 28 raw prime with this guy starved out. He actually kind of fell at the perfect spot because there's no one for miles. As far as I've got advanced warning of any kind of hostile dinosaur approaching. That's pretty ideal. Only concern is PvP zone may move. I don't know when it's due to move next. But if it does, he will be inside of it, which could get dicey. Now this is one of those times when 10 times bomb would be handy, and I should probably start thinking about running caves soon for that. Because I'm gonna need one sooner or later. Ankies are particularly difficult to tame. Same with Dodicris, so. But we're gonna try it with it three times to see how it does. We'll just have to starve it out a little longer. Just shout out once again to the guy who told me that you don't have to do the whole foundation dropping thing to hide a bed. That has been so indispensable. I got so many headaches. Can't place a bed this close to enemy structures. I got so many headaches from trying to drop foundations all over. Where's an enemy structure? Unless they mean this thing. Guess I'll hit take all on that, see if that fixes it. Oftentimes body bags act as structures, enemy structures. So if you're ever blocked for no apparent reason, that would be why. Yep. Perfect. Reason that's important is you can see the fence foundation. That's because after seven days, if the fence foundation is completely covered, um, it will decay and the bed will fall off which will break it. So, I always plan to refresh your fence foundation once every little while. There we go. Now I'm going to get myself some forges. I might as well hang on to that. Let's see, forges what I need. Fiber and stone. It's always good to hit that first step and get our first smelting shack down and start getting some metal. This so way, by the time the Argentavis is tamed, we can have a little bit to take back with us. Craft up some tools, maybe that pike blueprint we have. It's not amazing, but it'll do. All right. As long as we're waiting, let's fly over here and get some metal. Got a base with plain plant X. A few full grown, but it's new. Be interesting to see if it's still there in a day. Always make mental note of bases you see, whether they're wiped, whether they're not, how long they've been there. Knowledge like that can come in handy to tell you A, how hostile the server is, B, what the hotspots are. Uh, where you want to avoid if you're going to build, things like that. Because every server has its own personality. Put all of that in there. There we go. Alright, let's kill these two. Get us a little, some prime. Alright, let's get up there. Feed this thing while we still have any prime left. We may have to tame it on raw meat, which frankly suck, but at the moment I'm out of options, so... Yeah, that'll get us to 25. No, that's not even close to insta-tame. On the bright side, efficiency is dropping, so... That's what we needed. Oh, it's painful, all that waiting. Now let's go get more Prime. It's gonna be a sitting duck when PvP rolls around. Better shut this off. Yeah, it's way out in the open. I'm gonna get seen and killed. Well, I don't have high hopes for that. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna get my stuff from the shack down here as much as I can. K 
carry. And if it tames, we'll request it. But I don't have particularly high hopes. Alright, so it was pretty good to check in on the server, see what's going on. This may yet tame up, I'm going to keep an eye on it, and if it does, I'm going to request it back home. Meantime, I'm going to ferry this metal I smelted back there. Got our first little steps going to metal tier. Obviously a long way ahead of us. I'd love to tame that snail and uh, get some CP going constantly. Again, let me know how long that takes in the comments if you know. Otherwise, I'll try to see if I can find it on the wiki. I don't recall it being on there, but you never know. Alright, so we did get the Argentavis tamed, and before we log off, I wanted to tame this snail. So I got a handful of bombs from the code, and I got a chef station, which I just bought. Yeah, cakes are in it. That's good. All right, that should be pretty perfect. We will see how it goes. Let me get my arrows. And it's out. Let me grab some narcotics. Keep this guy under. Looks like three will be perfect. Which is great, because I'd rather not spend more than I have to. All right, and here we go with the last bite. There we go. So we got a couple tames. We got the Archentavis, we got the Akatina, and we are well on our way to being where we need to be. Just doing the regular old Nomad grind. It seems to be working really well on PVX Clock, so I'm happy to see that. Over the next few episodes, we're going to be grinding a little bit more, getting Perlovias, Ankies, Dodicarus, all that kind of stuff, kind of sussing out the server, seeing how it is. So thanks for watching, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to the King of the Hill video when that comes out. It's going to be a big one. Um, got some cool faces in it. Uh, Cams and MSB and Lested are in there. A few other YouTubers you might know. So really looking forward to getting that to y'all. It's going to be a longer video and it's going to be uh, narrative style. Kind of uh, two times just skimming through two weeks of King of the Hill in like 45 minutes. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Looking forward to that. So I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, join the Discord in the description, and check out my Patreon if you're interested. I will see y'all next time.